Hello and welcome back to the wood shop. Here with the CNC router, I've got a new jig on here. I've got to get it aligned to the bed. I want to show you quickly how I get them absolutely perfectly aligned to the axis of the mill. You don't need to have any markings on the bed or anything, but this will get it absolutely perfect. And I'm doing that with this. It's a 3D printed mount, which will go on the spindle and has a very cheap USB webcam board module hot glued into it. First of all, we get the camera mounted on the spindle. To get really good contrast on the camera, what I'm gonna do is just take a Sharpie and put a line along the edge of this pocket. This is actually going over the edge of the pocket so that we have a really good contrasting black line to line up against. I do so hate to film a computer screen, but I don't have any recording software for a screen on this PC. And it's not internet connected, so I'm not able to get any. We're gonna go webcam plugin V3, start camera. Just gonna pop up a little window off to the side here. And as you can see, horribly out of focus, hitting tab to bring up the uh, jog mode so I can see what I've got for speed here. And basically, we're gonna bring the head down and get that camera in focus. Okay, so we look like we're starting to get some pretty good focus here. I'm just gonna bring the head over. So we get this pocket lined up. Now I just need to get the camera squared up because it is removable. I'm gonna move down the machine until we get to a point where we can lock it off. Should be about there. That being our starting position, I'm gonna lock down this uh, nut here and I'm gonna drive the axis away further down the jig. So what I'm looking to do now is what I'm looking to do now is nudge this channel across to the point that their crosshairs are in place. So it looks like we're about there. So just lock the jig down there and bring it back to about where our bolt is. Double check that we're lined up here. Crosshairs look to be pretty good, but I think I can move this over just a tad here. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. So I'll lock the jig back down there and then move away again and double check our reference at the other end. That looks to be pretty similar to me. So now our jig is aligned and I can lock down all the other bolts. Now all we need to do is just terminate the web camera window and unplug the camera. Pull it off the spindle and we're done. I hope that helps you with your CNC setup. If it does, leave a like, much appreciated. These are available on Amazon or eBay or AliExpress. About 30 to 50 US dollars, depending on the resolution you get. This is a 1080 at 60 FPS one. I originally bought this for doing electronics pick and place. But it works great on the mill, it works great on getting the laser set up. There's a whole bunch of calibration we can do with this, and I'll do some more videos on that in the future. If you want to see more tips and tricks for CNC stuff, projects, builds, all sorts of things, please go ahead and check out some of the other videos below and hit subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Have a fantastic day.